Very pretty foliage everywhere. We almost got murdered by a hornbill. Holy cow. Hi, Eric here. Uh, today, uh, Saimai and I are visiting Wat Phnom in Phnom Penh, uh, the, the big old temple that was founded uh, several hundred years ago and uh, was the, the location of the founding of the city of Phnom Penh here in Cambodia. We bought two tickets at two dollars each and why don't we just go explore this beautiful place. Okay, let's go. So here at the entrance you have this sign and it just says that in 1373 uh, there was uh, a set of uh, Buddha statues that were found at this location and so they erected this entire hill and put a temple on top. And that temple has been around for over 600 years. Uh, across the street, you have what I like to call the, the bat tree. So um, basically right here in this tree, there's a bunch of bats. I mean, the first time I visited in 2018, there were bats everywhere here. I only see a few now. I don't know why. I don't know where the rest of them are. It used to be that the tree was absolutely heavy with these big bats. It looked like maybe some kind of flying foxes or something. But uh, today, they're less than when I was here last, uh, maybe a month ago. So just as I was getting ready to go up, uh, a flock of about half a dozen great hornbills just came in. They just flew in and landed right there above me. So look at that. That's a great hornbill. And a number of them flew in just as I uh, turn on the camera. Look at that. They're very large, very active birds. There's, there's actually two of them right there. These are the first hornbills that have been in uh, Phnom Penh for many, many years. And uh, they, they just recently returned to Phnom Penh. So you can see them uh, bouncing around here, uh, all around the trees by the, by the, the chetty right here. Very cool though, right? So now I'm going to go up the stairs. Uh, the stairs are flanked by these two uh, Nagas, or as they would say in Thai, uh, Nakas. And uh, they're just uh, like demigods, seven-headed snakes. Pretty common for these uh, steps to have the snake bodies that just kind of go uh, all the way up the stairs on either side. Here we have two guards of some kind. They're not Buddhas. I don't know what they are. And above them, we have a series of lions. You have these, these nice sculptures and just these very pretty uh, banners just fluttering in the wind. But we're not at the top yet. Very pretty foliage everywhere. We almost got murdered by a hornbill. Holy cow. Well, I hope I caught that. So then you have further steps that go up. Hi, Samai. How many beds are here? Up we go. And now we're finally at the top. You get this nice view. And here's uh, the main temple. So, let's just take a look at this. So Buddhism is pretty progressive. 
Hey, hello, hello. Buddhism is pretty progressive, so phones and stuff are allowed inside. Um, one thing not allowed inside, though, in general, would be shoes, so just going to go take these off. And we're just going to see what we have in here. This temple is very old. It's six or seven hundred years old. It is adorned walls and ceiling with many paintings, which are also very old. Lots of candles, as one would expect. And uh, this deity of this woman here that I see uh, in some places, including Malaysia. Usually you don't see her too much in Thailand. I'm presuming that some of these Buddhas were the ones that were found um, at the founding of the city. One thing you'll notice is that everywhere in a Buddhist temple is lots and lots and lots of money. So you got money here, you got money in the seats of all the Buddhas, you have money all over the Buddha's laps. One thing about Buddhism is that the Buddhists recognize the value of money. Now, in my home country, people know that money is important, but it's like they pretend it's not. But everyone knows money is important. Money is a necessity. Money is an important resource. And at least the Buddhists get that. They get it and they proclaim it. I think really everyone gets it, but like some people pretend it's not true, but it's true. So there's money everywhere in this temple is what I'm saying. So if you come out here, um, in the back of this temple, there's some fortune tellers. And there's a, a number of different ways to do this. I'm, I'm not familiar with them all. I do know that um, these guys right here, you hold these plates above your head and you randomly pick one. And it's supposed to tell you your future. So here's the, an additional fortune telling statue uh, right, uh, right there. You can also walk outside the temple further, and also you can walk beside the temple under these these lovely, um, rather uh, picturesque uh, roofs right here. You can see the, all the old tiles. If you're interested in building, you can maybe see see some of the construction. So pretty cool. Then you can further go in this direction. And you can see the the roof of some of the other buildings and you can see these old, um, this old chetty or a couple of old chetties. So usually there's uh, the remains of people there, often ashes. It's really nice though, right? Anyway, uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. We'll show you some more. Okay, so Saimai and I are now going to walk uh, around uh, Wat Phanam and uh, just see what everything looks like. So here we go. Let's start by turning around. One of the striking things about all of this is just how many trees. huge trees there are. Yes, that's right. So many big, big, big trees. It's very leafy, very green, very pleasant. I mean, if you come here and you don't find yourself enjoying 
just the landscaping and the gardening. I don't know what to say. Do you remember that uh, souvenir shop? Maybe yes. Okay now. Sure. Yeah, we'll take a look. So, Samai, what what would you call this place? Is, is it another temple? I don't know here. Again? Oh, okay. So this is a place to pray. Thank you. Ah, so this is basically a giant oven. You see it's active uh, right now. And here you can you can go and, and burn uh, all kinds of stuff, uh, including these papers that are right there. You'll see that the, the lions here all have uh, all have meat placed in their jaws. Many, many, many Buddhist temples have uh, some kind of oven like this. Okay, shoes off. Incense. Very exotic. Of course, it wouldn't be a temple without a without a waving cat. You got to have a waving cat. Same pregnant dogs been everywhere in all my shots big tree they just build the roof around the trees it's pretty cool right I don't know how long it's been since that TV worked but and here you can see again some of the old structures and the nice landscaping let's go back out to Saimai Hello, Saimai. So many nice leaves and so many nice plants. It's just nice. Yes. Okay, let's go down this way. Oh, it's so pretty, right? Yes, so nice. Yes. So this temple is also a park. You want to go to the toilet? Well, we'll go to the coffee shop. Yes, there's a coffee shop. So just look at all these beautiful trees everywhere. Some of these trees are as big around as a person, uh, or actually quite a lot bigger around than a person at the base. And uh, some of them are palm trees. Some of them are what I would term jungle trees, I guess. They're just everywhere, though. And you have these super clean pathways and you got lights so that if you want to come enjoy the place at night you can here you can see like the the city just outside of Wat Phnom which is a circular shape it's very pleasant very pleasant like the kind of stuff that we might see in Thailand or Vietnam but I guess this is just what happens when you have a really nice old religious building that has had time to grow and develop for many years. Massage. Green down pen massage. Saimai, go stand in front of that tree right there. Why? I want to show how Yeah, I want to see. Look at that. So they're, they're really quite large. Uh, very beautiful trees. I hope they don't uh, cut any of them down anytime soon. 
Very nice. Here we have another massive, massive banyan tree, one of the biggest I've ever seen. So it must be hundreds and hundreds of years old. Look at that. Pagoda. Up top, there's many paths. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I'm gonna go up top though, I'll just walk around, I'll be right back. You wanna meet me? Okay. So if you just enjoy being around lots of plants, nice landscaping, Wat Phnom in Phnom Penh is the place to go. Oh. The cute kids. Hello. 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 Everyone's so friendly. Well, that was our visit to Wat Phnom. If you enjoyed this place and enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.